Floss Tube. Hi, Floss Tube. I'm Chris. I'm Jane. And we're the Boss Stitchers. Today is Sunday, November 21st, and this is episode 34. Welcome, and thanks for joining us. Um, yes, thank you. Um, if you are new to us, um, thanks for checking us out. If you are returning, um, glad to have you back. Um, the last time we filmed, it was f from um, the um, East Hill, the Inn at East Hill Farm, um, where we did the stitch in at the farm. From um, New Hampshire. Right. Um, so, yeah, it was on, we did it on location. Yeah. Um, so I can't believe I, that was two weeks ago. I know. It seems like <laughs> it was really a long time ago. Yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, but, um, so have you recovered from all the food well, and the stitching and the I, late nights and the fireball yeah. and the... <laughs> It's just so much <laughs> to return to my normal humdrum life. <laughs> well, it was a little hard to come home and not have three bountiful meals a day prepared for me and right. served and yeah. everything else. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was a great time. It was. And apparently everybody thought so because we've heard and perhaps you've heard as well on from other floss tubers that um, I think every room was taken by the time we checked out, uh, aside from two maybe were left. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, a lot of people <coughs> um, by the time we left had already booked um, for, you know, for next year. So, um, so it's good. I mean, we had a really, we had a really, yeah. a really fun time and, um, Got to see, you know, so many people. We got to meet, you know, Lynette in person. And um, she did just a terrific job. Of yeah, yeah. Hosting her yep. planning. I know yeah. she'd say she she didn't really plan anything, but it was great. Yeah. Um, Kristen did a great job, too. Yeah. Um, they had, like, a bunch of fun little things that um, we each... Um, took a little piece of a chart um, and everybody stitched a little bit yeah. on it so that we could give it to the inn. Um, so, I can't wait to see that next year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, and then Kristen had a little craft table set up where we could make our own thread drops and stamps so you could put um, farm animals on them. So that was really nice. Um, we got to meet um, uh, you know, Ellen in, yes. in person. Yeah. We got to meet yeah. a lot of our viewers and commenters. Um, you know, had um, dinners and breakfasts and uh, lunches um, with um, Cindy and Kay. It was great to meet you guys and the Rhode uh, Island stitchers. All the Rhode yep. Island stitchers, which you know, I I'm not gonna try to mention because <laughs> I know that I'll forget somebody. But um, mm. just really fun to meet all of you. Um, of course, our New York friends, Helen Luann. Yeah. Um, you know, so that was really great. Um, and um, looking forward again to uh, next year, and actually looking forward to maybe meeting up with some of you during the year. Um, I think that you know there are some midpoints that um, mm -hmm. some of us could could meet at. So um, it was uh, great to see a lot of people, and um, so we really had a, we really had yeah, a good time. Yeah, it was. It was a great so, retreat. So yeah. Yeah. And you know, um, I got some stitching done. Yeah, uh, yeah, a bit, yeah, a, a bit. You know, but I felt like I, I was constantly stitching somehow. But. Yeah, yeah. But then at the end of the a weekend, to I was show like, for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway. So, um, but you have been stitching. I have. Okay. Would you like to throw out the first stitch? I'd love to. Play ball. So. Again, this isn't a terrific picture, but this is the Autumn Beauty Sale from Fat Quarter Shop. <clears throat> and I, 
I have made quite a project out of the border. Uh, but I am just about there now. I um, basically started this at um, the end. I think I maybe had a small amount done before that. So I pretty much worked on that the whole weekend. And now it's two weekends later. But <laughs> <laughs> I am just about done yep. and with, with the border. Then, of course, comes the rest of it. Mm -hmm. And this will stitch up quick. It will. It will. What's the, what's oh, and the, I, um, yeah, what's the fabric? <clears throat> the fabric is the not called for portion. This is um, coloring cotton, spiced honey, 28 count Lugana. Let's bring it back oh, yeah. Here. Okay. Good point. And um, that yeah, was a uh, one of the uh, the fabric of the month pieces. I think it was in April. It's yeah, pretty. I really like that yeah. part. Yeah, it's a great um, and I did pack, purchase the um, Classic Color Works thread pack from a fat water shop for that. So I'm using that. Mm -hmm. And it is really gorgeous colors. Nice. So hopefully I'll move along on that. Yeah. But then I realized that Christmas is coming. Mm -hmm. And I have a few little gifts to work on. So where did I go, Jane, <laughs> to my endless um, <laughs> selection of Pine Mountain kits that I have mm -hmm. purchased over the years? And this is You Better Not Pout. And I just started this last night when it occurred to me. I really needed to do that. So It's coming out that. good. Yep, and that should be a quick one. Famous last words, right? <laughs> And I feel like I should have a lot more, but I've kind of been doing more organizing, which we'll get to okay. later on is All right. when we talk plans or whatever. Organizing is important. Yeah. So that's it. Okay. Um, I have been doing organizing, I guess, too, because I don't have a lot of <laughs> whips either. Um, my two are um, Samhain and Salem from Hemlock and Rye. And I feel like I've been working on this for a very long time. And I think that part of it is that I ended up starting it. And it, the um, fabric that I started it on yeah. was mislabeled. So I ended up starting it again. Although that is and, gorgeous fabric. Yeah. And, and there is a ton of stitching on that. There is a lot know. of stitching, yes. Um, so um, this is a 36-count linen. And it's called Highland, and it's from um, Picture This Plus. So I can show you what the whole piece of fabric looks like. Um, nice. And clearly, I'm I'm working on the middle house, and I really like the way this is coming out. It's um, yeah, like the coverage isn't. Like, they're dark colors, so I'm doing um, one over two. and I like the way it looks, though. The coverage, yeah. The coverage isn't fantastic, but it's got kind of like that oldish look, right, I think, right. to it. So I kind of like it. Um, and I'm using the called-for um, color for the house, which is... Williamsburg, I believe, mm. um, from Weeks. Um, and yeah, so it's coming along. Um, I'm, I at least want to finish the house before I put it down and maybe start on another uh, roof or um, get, get some more stitches in just so that I have this as a project that I can use as a fill-in yeah. when I'm at yeah. um, craft group or um, stitch day right. you know, at our LNS. Good to have one of those on hand. Yep. And then um, my other one is uh, Let Freedom Ring. Um, I don't have the chart with me, um, but I'll put a picture in. I'm sure you guys um, know very, what it you looks know, like by now. What it looks like by now. And I um, brought this um, in the cue snap because, frankly, Chris, I just didn't have the strength 
to take it out of the cue snap. I mean, I had a very, very, very busy day, and I, I, I just I couldn't exactly muster. I mean. couldn't muster up the strength to take it out. All right, so, we'll we'll live with it just as it is then. So, um, I feel like I've been stitching on this quite a bit, although I don't really have much to show. And part of the reason is um, I've been working on the bottom here and I'm working on these uh, leaves and doing the yeah. back stitch. Um, so what happened was I wasn't paying attention and I pretty much stitched the back stitch on all the leaves but I went I went around like directly around each leaf. So you can see here how it's how they're rounded. Um, so I wasn't rounding them. I was stitching like each square on the leaf. Yeah. So it ended up that I had all square leaves. I thought about leaving it, but I just couldn't. <laughs> I mean, there's just no way that I could. And I had pretty much stitched. Well, oh, all these that you see that are back stitched, I had stitched. Oh. So... <laughs> Yeah, anyway, so well, they I... they do look lovely now. Yeah, so I pulled them yeah. all out and uh, redid them. And then the other thing is, um, I don't know if the last time you had seen it, I had done all the backstitching on this um, building and, and the uh, entryway here or the breezeway here. But all of that backstitching is done, and I started the backstitching on the big building here. Um, well, you did accomplish so, that, Jane. yeah. So yeah. this, this whole section is done. I put my initial down here. I started bringing up the border on the side. Um, so the bottom left is pretty much done. And, Looks great. Um, yeah. I, just, I always love seeing the progress on that one. Oh, moving on. Moving <laughs> on. Um, well, speaking of moving on, yes. you maybe have some finishes? Um, I do have... Uh, I have... Uh, one finish um, and one FFO. So my finish was um, Thanksgiving Owl um, by Barefoot Needle Art. Um, I don't have the chart because I've already given it away. Um, and I'll put a picture in. And then I don't have the <laughs> stitched project because I gave it to my finisher. But I swear it's done. I, I swear it's done. So. All right, we'll be looking for some validation <laughs> next time. Um, so, um, wait a minute, I, I just remembered I have some finishes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no charge. That, that you don't no, yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, I'll put in what pictures I have. Um, and um, But I do have an FFO, and I do have that with me. Um, I don't remember exactly what date I finished this, but it is a uh, Stony Creek, and it's called Harvest Blessings. And um, this is my finish. Looks terrific. Do you use the call for us on that, Jane? Uh, no, actually, this was, um, let's see, what did I do on this? This was a 32-count Lugana. And um, it is called Robin uh, by Picture This Plus. And for the um, floss, I used Weeks Dye Works Cognac. That looks so great. I love those colors see, together. I don't know if you can really see much of the irrigation here. But um, nice I choice like, of frame, too. Yeah, I like how it worked out yeah. that the modeling in the fabric is a little bit darker on the turkey than on the pilgrim. Um, so, yeah, very, very nice. You know, Quite just a timely, simple... Jane. Yes, yes. So, I, have, I can't enjoy it for too long, but <laughs> right. I can put it up for next week. Um, yeah, so, very simple finish, but... Um, I think a finish nonetheless. Yeah, finish yeah. nonetheless. I, I love think that. Came out pretty good. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, finishes for you? 
Afraid not. No. No. Okay. Yeah. All right. Move on. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, so we actually had, we have some very, very nice um, friends and viewers, um, and we actually have some um, random acts of kindness. Um, sure do. Um, actually, um, there's one thing that I want to talk about that, um, Chris, that you don't know about, um, but um, my friend um, Janet's um, mother um, just went into assisted living. And um, she's doing very well, and she loves the place, um, but she was um, living in a condo that they had to, that they're, they are selling, so um, she um, was getting rid of stuff and cleaning out, and um, so she um, had some, um, Janet asked me if there's there was anything that, wanted and um so her mother there were a few things that her mother wanted me and my husband to have um and so we got a package um in the mail um no actually I went to see Janet and I I took the box that she had mailed to her house and um in it was um a set that I have been admiring um for years, ever since I, you know, went down to see Janet's mother. And Dottie um, is kind of like a second mother to me. I mean, I've been going down to see her, you know, for, for many, many years and going out with her fr friends and, um, it, you know, she has a great group of friends and it was just, you know, it's just a lot of fun. Anyway, um, she um, sent me um, a, a set that is from the 1930s and it is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Ah. And they're little um, figurines that I have always uh, loved. So um, I will put in a couple of pictures of them and um, Dottie, I know you don't watch our floss tube but if you ever do I just want to say I love you and um thank you so much um and to Janet thank you very much for thinking of me um it was just very these are very special to me so thank you um as far as stitchy kindness, mm -hmm. um, we met up with a couple of friends of ours. We sure did. We had a great Veterans Day gathering with our friends Missy and Kathy in Maine. And we spent the whole day together. Uh, we had a great lunch. And then we moved on to do a little stitching at Starbucks. And when Starbucks closed, we moved on to stitching at Barnes & Noble. Mm -hmm. So we had a really full, lovely day together. And they presented us with some very nice mm -hmm. gifts. Yeah. Um, can't put them all together here. Well, first, Missy is a wonderful bag maker. Mm -hmm. And she really nailed it on what Jane and I like. I love London. <laughs> I went two years ago. Seems a lifetime ago, huh? Mm. Um, and just absolutely loved it. Yeah. It's as I knew I would. Let me see the inside. So that's a... Um, oh, look how cute that yeah. is. Yeah. It's a nice reminder of it. So... Yeah. I'm very much I'm thankful to her for that. And my bag is uh, Boston Red Sox. Very cute fabric. And she put the baseballs up here as well as on the inside. And I just love this. It's so, it's very well made. Yeah. I love this. Yeah, great work. Yeah, yeah. And then our friend Kathy. He has some frogs. I don't know what made her think of us. <laughs> and she saw a frog. She didn't actually make these. She yeah. she knows. I think it's actually a little girl who makes them. Yeah, I think and like a 13-year-old. And there's like this great yeah. business. And I mean, these are just so well made again. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, and the little the 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 girl that makes these, um, you can't even get in get get because she does so well that um it, that she's booked. She's completely booked. So um, no, so don't even yeah. ask. <laughs> <laughs> but look at how cute that is. <laughs> And Kathy also sent along this adorable needle minder. Ho, ho, and ho, 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 and the ho, ho, ho bags. And scissor fobs. Mm -hmm. So mine is a baseball. <laughs> That's great. I and yours the was, the, was the crown, right? Yeah. These are just lovely. Yeah. And another little baseball. And some jingle bells. <laughs> and we each got one of these needle minders. Yeah. You gotta put that to work right away. <laughs> and then they had asked if and I and Jane and I were just discussing before. Missy and Kathy are two of the most prolific stitchers that you. we know. Mm -hmm. They just like whip out one project after the other. It's unbelievable. And, and they finish them. Yeah. All right. So yeah. it's, not, it's not just stitching, it's <laughs> FFOing. Which you know is amazing to the two of us. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah. It's like magic. <laughs> yeah. And so on top of all this, they kindly asked if we wanted any of their um, charts. So, I had been admiring Franklin's freedom mm -hmm. when Missy was stitching this at um, Galleria. And um, she had told us back then, it's, it's funny, the, um, this is by Sweet Wing Studio, and on this is some quirky things about Ben Franklin, like he didn't think that certain letters were necessary in the alphabet, like C, J, Q, W, X, Y. So she put things like that in it. And this is just like a fun stitch. Mm. I love that. Oh, I think this was from you, Jane. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I've always admired this, designs from the needle. So I had someone in mind for that, so... <laughs> I'll whip that out one okay. day. All right. And love this hands-on design from Kathy. Life needs more chocolate bunnies. Mm -hmm. Ain't that the truth, huh? For sure. <laughs> chocolate, anything. And, oh, last but not least, I love this um, oh, little, yeah. uh, little house needle works, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Coming to America. Yeah. Little colonial piece. Yeah. So... Thank you again. And then such a great time. Um, Kathy gave me um, "Hello Winter" Plum Street samplers, and um, this is this is called B fifty four Inspiration Boxer. Um, come, let us adore him. And this is uh, from Lizzie Kate, and it comes with this little bonus chart. Joy, and this was from Missy. Uh, Missy also gave me Annie B's uh, folk art sunflower row, and this is from um, this is from a magazine. Um, it says when they saw the star, they rejoiced, um, and. I'll put it down below. The magazine, it says Easy Does It, and it's from Leisure Arts, but that's all the information that I have about it. But I have um, a chart that I was thinking that this would look good with. So kind of an addition to a chart that I already have. Um, Missy also gave me two Leisure Arts books Merry Christmas, ABC. And um, there were um, a few things that I was kind of interested in this. Like, yeah. I love that. That <laughs> is great. Wouldn't it be awesome to do that? How long do you think that would take me? 
Ah, uh, let's see. It's got some <laughs> cute little snowmen. Now, what um, do you think, Missy, whipped that up in a night or two? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Well, yeah, and then another couple of nights to finish it. <laughs> All right, but, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Mm. Good a few and just remind sandals. our viewers that um, they met Missy and Kathy when we filmed mm. at Galleria. Yeah, that's right. And That's we've right. been trying to talk them into a floss tune ever since. And yeah. I think maybe yeah. it's going to be coming soon. Um, yeah, let's hope. Yeah. Because you guys, you, you know, this is specifically to Kathy and Missy. <laughs> you guys have too much stuff to, like, you know, not show To the not world. share it. That's right. right. Yeah. Absolutely. So, uh, Missy also gave me this. This is called Timeless Ornaments. And, um... There are a couple of things in here that I that I also like. I, I wouldn't do yeah, that. Got uh, some I great motifs in there. Flip through, but um, you know it's got it's got some you know nice holly patterns. It's got some. This was um, this is like the night before Christmas series. So it's got. Quite a few things in there that um, I could keep myself okay, busy. I was just gonna say that's gonna keep you busy. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm. And then um, we also have a lovely friend in um, Alberta. Um, Hence, yes, the display behind <laughs> us. Which, well, don't don't look below the flags, please. <laughs> but if you look at, I don't know, top of our head level. These lovely flags were made by our friend Lillian, mm -hmm. who sent those in along with a, a whole lot of other goodies <laughs> for mm -hmm. us. Uh, Lillian is also a wonderful bag maker, and she included ostriches <laughs> on the top of our. And I, again, the the workmanship is terrific. Mm -hmm. Love the tomato themed mm -hmm. bag here. Yeah. And love the inside as well with the ruler. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's right really here. nice. Yeah, that's very cute. And she included a couple of other things for us. Jane and I both got this thread mat, mm. which is adorable. Yeah. Opens up. Mm hmm. There's a nice place for your needle in here. Yeah. Look at how cute these are. Yeah, that's adorable. <laughs> and she sent me an RATM Harvest Time. You've been drooling pattern. over that, haven't you? I have been. <laughs> I, like, again, it's like she absolutely <laughs> nailed it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> It's like yeah, she was there with thereof. me, just like you, the yeah. number of times I said how I wanted to do that. Thank you, Lillian. <laughs> You've helped to put Jane out of her misery. So I am yeah. dying to get a yeah. start on that. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you so much, Lillian. And um, the chart that I got was uh, the um, Autumn Bell Pull from Tiny Modernist. And look at how cute these little things are. Then there's a bell a pull or some smalls. Very cute. Um, and <laughs> my bag <laughs> is... Um, a Looney Tunes. Again, it says Boss Stitchers. It has Sylvester right front <laughs> and center. God, I love this. Yeah. Oh. I that can't is even terrific. I can't even tell you. This is just amazing. The generosity and thoughtfulness that went into this is is just stunning. Yeah. So and cute polka dots in the in the side. Thank you so much, Lillian. Um, it was such was a treat just, to come just home and terrific. Find those. I can't those wait. Those were waiting for us when we got back from um, the from Stitch In. Oh so yeah, that was really yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, thank you so much. Um, 
I was trying to figure out um, your, um, you know, do you like hockey, um, who your team was? I'm assuming you, like your professional team is, you know, the Oilers, but I know that you have the Eros, which is, uh, I think it's a WSHL team. And I'll then, leave that to you, Jane. And then there's the, well, um, and then who, oh, the Cold Lake Ice, which is um, a junior um, team also. Um, anyway, so I guess, you know, really if you uh, live in Alberta, you probably like hockey. I bet you but, do. Uh, yes, yeah. 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 In fact, and, I um, wrote to Lillian that um, being geographically challenged Americans, I did Google that to, to see, um, get an idea of uh, where she lived. And um, Cold Lake apparently earns its name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so thank you again, Lillian. Yes. Um, well, I can't, you know, I can't really top that, but, um, I do have some haul. All right. Do you have haul? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I have okay. a bit, but you go ahead. All right. Um, so we've probably heard me lament about a piece <laughs> of fabric that I have been waiting for. I, when did we even go to, you know, we went to Needlework. July, right? July, yeah. yeah. In July. Yeah. And I've been... I ordered a piece of um, fabric um, and I just got it. So <laughs> worth waiting for, though, yeah, right? Yeah. So this is a, a piece of um, thirty-six count linen. It's called um, Tanzanite. And let's see. This is it's looking a little more blue than it actually is, and that's making it look a little more purple Purple-y. than it actually is. But it's somewhere right in the middle. Yeah, that might be okay. Um. Anyway, I'm. It wanted, is a beautiful shade. It is a beautiful shade. Yeah. And I've um. I had this um picked out for maybe the modern folk embroidery Ooh. four seasons. Um, I think that's the name yeah, of it. Yeah, monochromatic. Yeah, it's a monochromatic. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to think about it. But it's very nice. it's a very nice piece of fabric, and I will definitely put something special on that. Uh, the other thing I got was um, from The World in Stitches. Um, JBW is one of my favorite designers and she has three Christmas ornament books. I have one and two and how could I not <laughs> buy three? I had already gone down that rabbit hole, so I might as well fall to the bottom. And is Randy at the World and Stitches doing a uh, trunk show? She does, yes. Them? Yeah, she has the trunk show right now. Um... I think she may be packing it up soon. Oh, okay. So, um, if you wanted to see it, get up there soon. Um, let's see. So, the other thing I got Ooh. was, um, I got two since the last time I saw you, but this Ooh. is the Let's Go Sledding uh, Ornament Club from Crazy Annie Stitching. And this is um, Annie B's um, Folk Art. And this one is the Ornament Club. Let's let's go sledding Ornament Club. And this was number 10. You're almost finished with that, huh? Yeah, yeah. Let me just take this out real quick. I don't like the way the glare is on there. So that's number 10. And then this one is number 11. And I have one more that I'll be getting. Um... And, you know, it was kind of interesting getting these every month. I will say, though, that they're really nothing special. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're cute, um, but uh, I feel like there was a lot of redundancy. Mm, you know, yeah. A lot of... Kind of hard to... Yeah, I mean, lots of... Come up with... Snowmen and trees new. and... Uh, yeah, so yeah. I, you know, which is, I guess, probably, you know, I mean, it's hard to what come you, up with, yeah, you know, yeah. 36 
really unique designs. <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, it was fine. So I wouldn't do it again, though. Um, and then, let's see. Finally, I got my Gentle Art Ooh, that's a Thread beautiful. of the Month Club from Welcome Stitchery. And do we have the, oh, the board? Do we have that? I think I do. Oh, I don't know. Ooh, oh, yeah. yeah. Slipped in back here. Okay. Just a moment. All right. And then uh, this one seems to be mostly, I think it's all, these are B's and C's. So. Oh, yeah. It's always kind of a guess with that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes they're random. Sometimes they're, um, but this one, well, let's see if like I can get a. Fall colors for the most part, too. Yeah. That yeah, one is, can you hold over. that? Yeah, that one is Butter Crunch. Oh, I love the name. This one is um, Cinnamon. Ooh, good. Butternut Squash. It's like we're on a food theme here. <laughs> um, chalk. Don't eat that. <laughs> <laughs> See how that looks oh, against the white. Although <laughs> well, there were kids in elementary school that that's ate true. chalk, wasn't yeah. there? I think that's actually related to some disease. Isn't uh, <laughs> <it>? <laughs> this is burlap. <laughs> and uh, buttermilk. I like um, that buttermilk color. I yeah. use that. And, and then this is place. Buckeye Scarlet. That's a pretty red. That's a very pretty red. Yeah. And burnt orange. Celery. Which is okay. more more yellow than I would think yeah. that celery would be. Doesn't look like very good celery to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then um, creek bed, which is oh. Very harsh variegation of yeah. brown and blue. So. All right. But, yeah, those are very nice. Yeah. So. Good collection. All right, kid, what do you got? All for right. Home? Well, not a heck of a lot, but. <clears throat> so, I'm sure you've seen this from many other people. The um, hmm. 2022 Book of Days. So, I won't bore you with the details too much but um this, this is my route to organization jane all I right just, i just feel like this is the year excellent and i'm gonna keep track of all those hours i s spend in pleasurable stitching and what i'm working on and okay this is the key to it <laughs> so i'm right. looking forward to excellent. that um other than that i just Got a couple of little charts, and I have been um, looking for this uh, Sweet Wing Studio, Let Heaven and Nature Sing for a while. I had planned on getting that at Galleria, and I didn't seem to find it anywhere. That's cute. So, yeah, that truly should be a quick one. Yep. And this is Lucy beans um i will find you and as i've said to jane um i have been planning to do this for a friend of ours <laughs> a quilter who is um very protective of her scissors can you and, read that to the um, folks Yes, certainly. It says, I don't know who used my fabric scissors, but I will find you. <laughs> and our friend always hosts um, Jane and my craft group around Christmas time. And all good intentions, of mm -hmm. course. I had mm -hmm. also looked for this at Galleria and I didn't happen to find it. 
Um, I had hoped to have that finished in a little pillow for her, mm -hmm. but I think that will have to wait maybe for next Christmas <laughs> or some other occasion, but I look forward to doing that for oh, That's her. cute. She will love that. <laughs> yeah. And that's it for me. Okay. Yeah. Um, so this week is um, Thanksgiving for those in the yes. United States. So um, we hope you all have a wonderful day. And um, Chris and I have um, some plans for Black Friday. We sure do. Would you like to tell people yeah. what we are planning? Jean and I are going to take a little drive to Cape Cod, and we are going to go to the Town Ho Shop in Brewster. And I made a brief stop there in September when my husband and I were on vacation in the Cape. Um, but I think with Jane, it will be a longer visit <laughs> and, um, you kind of have to see it to believe it, yeah. I think, kind of place. But yeah, I, I told wait. Jane oh enough that she was enthusiastic to return. Um, there is a lot of stuff there, a lot of charts, lots of thread, um, he it's, does needlepoint stuff too, yes, but there's still a lot of cross stitch. Right, yeah. right, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, I guess it's not really in a barn. I guess the barn was kind of next door to this house, but it's several rooms of um, charts and lots of them. <laughs> It's the kind of place that I think Jane's going to have a lot of fun hunting through because it's some older things, yeah. some mm -hmm. um, more. When I was there, I think I bought mainly Mirabilia's. They mm -hmm. had a number of. Mm -hmm. um, I did get a Mill Hill kit or two. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess you could say there's something for everyone there. Yeah. 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 So I'm I certainly hope so. <laughs> So we'll have That's to talk. Our, we'll have to talk outing. about. Um, yeah, we'll have to talk about. I have to call him though because right, the, just to the, make sure what the yeah, just to make sure are. that he's going to be open and um, he doesn't have a. There's not a website, but it did say right uh, that the hours are subject to change on Thanksgiving Day oh, and on Black Friday. Oh, so okay. I will um, give a call Good. to see what the hours will be and then. We can decide how many hours we want to spend there <laughs> and plan our uh, and there was traveling a great time. restaurant down the street. Okay. So. All right. We're well, going to need some nourishment mm -hmm. after that. Well, that. there's no reason why we couldn't shop, eat, then shop. shop. Again. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. So That's true. We've been known to do that a yeah. few times. So, <laughs> so um, other mm -hmm. than that, I guess. Um, yeah. Our plans kind of for both of us. Um uh Jane definitely and I'm thinking on jumping on the uh no new starts train, but kind of a modified um version that they're offering this year of twenty two starts in twenty twenty two. And uh so Jane's gonna help me gather my thoughts and projects together <laughs> for that so um yeah. hopefully in the next uh episode or two i think we'll be ready to show those to you yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, um the actually no new starts of 2021 ends december 12th so that if you wanted Ooh. to start if you wanted to start things for no new starts 2022 then you you know have that and from the twelfth until the end of the year to put you know two hundred stitches in a number of projects that you wanted to have for twenty twenty two. So I I have I already have a number of projects that I'm going to carry over. So I don't have too much stitching to do. I do have um, a few new starts though. Um, so I'll have to you know plan that out. Yeah. So, all right. So That's exciting. <laughs> um, let's see. We'll probably see you in two weeks. Yeah, probably yeah. the weekend after Thanksgiving week. It'll be December. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. 
it'll be December. Okay. So yeah. All um, right. So um, until happy holiday. yes, have a happy holiday. Um, and until we see you next time, be well. Happy stitching, and we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.